Hi there. Now we know what solar concentrators are. We also know that these are used to harvest solar energy from the sun and transfer this heat to other useful applications. In this lesson, we shall discuss some of these applications. Simple flat plate collectors are the most affordable and portable of all the types of solar collectors, and so are the most common type used for heating water for domestic use. In larger applications, such as hospitals, the heat transfer fluid is no longer water, but a refrigerant or oil, which will absorb heat faster and then transfer it to the water supply through a heat exchanger. Especially in large indoor pools, when the water is too cold, solar collectors are used to raise the temperature of the water to make it more comfortable for swimming. Now, one of the large scale applications of the heat gained from solar collectors is in desalination projects. In areas where groundwater is scarce, but there's an abundance of seawater, solar collectors are useful in warming up this seawater. As the water evaporates, it is collected and distilled as fresh water. And in this way, seawater can be purified for drinking. Alternatively, solar collectors may be useful for heating air. Instead of a fluid being used in the heat exchanger, there is a fan which directs the heated air around the building. Now at an industrial scale, solar collectors are useful in processes that require large amounts of steam. In a natural gas power plant, burning natural gas as a fuel can be used to heat water into steam to generate power. Solar concentrators provide a cleaner way of heating this water into steam so that it can be used to rotate the turbines or generators that generate electricity. And these are just some of the ways that solar collectors are applied to gather heat from the sun and direct it to be used in other ways. In homes, swimming pools, and commercial buildings, they can be used to heat water or air. On a larger scale, solar collectors are also useful in purifying salt water and in producing steam for use in generating electricity. So keep learning and I'll see you all in another lesson.